All right, so in the event that we don't have a, an exact fit or a direct fit bag for your boat and we don't have dimensions already cataloged, uh, you may need to grab some dimensions from your boat to figure out which universal fit bag in our line is gonna fit best for you. Super easy process, but we get some questions about it, so I just kinda wanted to walk you through the basics and make sure you're armed with everything you need to go get dimensions from your boat one time and make sure that you can select the best bag either on your own or with the help from one of our product advisors. So let's take a look. So we're in the rear locker area here in this V-Drive. This is our season two project boat, which is a Taiga 20V, um, 21V. Um, and so we're in the rear locker, but this same process applies no matter what area you're measuring. Basically, we're looking for length, width, and height. That's how we report all the dimensions from our bags in that order. Uh, and so if you go in that same order, length, width, and height, that's gonna make it super easy to match up with the dimensions that we list on the website and make sure that you get the right fitting bag. Um, one thing I wanna just mention real quickly is with our universal fit bag in our rear universal fit locker lineup, for example, um, we've got 16 different sizes that we offer, um, pretty much everything in five inch increments in, in length, width, and height. And so we should be able to get within kind of like two and a half inches from a fit standpoint. Um, if you're on the edge there, just go up to the next size, right? So if you measure 28 inches for, for the length of the bag, round up to the 30 inch size, don't go down to the 25 inch size. That's gonna fit really well, and you'll just make sure that you completely occupy all the space without having a bag that's grossly oversized and doesn't fit at all. Um, so pretty simple process, you're gonna need a tape measure, and we're just gonna grab some dimensions. So, you know, when it comes to the locker length, we're gonna start there, since that's how the first measurement in all of our bags. Um, you know, in this locker, there is a little bit of taper um, in terms of the geometry of the panels. It's about 40 inches high up here at the top and it gets a little bit shorter down at the bottom. Again, just go with the 40 inch bag. That's gonna fit perfectly. Um, and our bags have a matching taper built into them because that's how pretty much every boat is set up with a little bit of taper at the front of the panel, uh, the front of the locker. So, um, so you're just gonna round up. Same thing when it comes to the width. Um, you know, in this boat and most boats, the width at the top of the locker because of the taper and the flare of the hull is gonna be uh, wider at the top than it is at the bottom. If we grab a measurement here, we can see we're sitting at a little over 28 inches, 28 and a half inches um, at the top. If we drop down to the bottom of the compartment, there's this step here that we're not gonna worry about. We're down to, to 23 inches. Um, our universal fit bags do have two inches of taper from top to bottom built into them already. Uh, in this case, I would just go with the 30 inch wide bag um, it's gonna give us the best fit. We're closest to the 30. Dropping down to a 25 inch width, um, there's not a reason for that. And we, we are gonna give up a little bit of capacity. So round up to the 30 inch option, that's gonna be the best fit. Um, and then when we come to the height, same thing. We can take a height measurement, you know, in a couple of different areas. We wanna look at any of the hardware that's on the door, uh, on, the, on the hatch, um, where it sits when it's closed, all that stuff. But in this case, you know, we can look and see here that we're sitting at about 22 inches. Um, this one, I would actually probably go down to the 20 inch mark, just because we are gonna have connections for our vent overflow that are gonna sit on top of the bag. Um, and like I mentioned, we've already got some hardware here that we want to accommodate. Um, so going down to 20 inches is probably gonna be the best option. We've also taken some measurements in some of the other areas of the locker, and it is a little bit shorter, so 21 inches, uh, something like that. So rounding down to 20 inch option is gonna make the most, the most sense there. Um, so yeah, looking at that, basically what I've come up with is this would be 40 inches in length, 30 inches in width, and 20 inches in height is gonna be the ideal universal fit bag for uh, our dimensions for, for this locker. And then we can hop over to the website, take a look, and uh, find the bag that fits, um, fits those dimensions the best. Uh, obviously, if we don't have an option, we do have custom fit, so you can check that out too. Um, but we should be able to get a reasonably good fit, whether it's a rear locker, center locker, the bow, our universal fit series are gonna cover most of your bases there. Um, and pretty easy process to get your dimensions, get your bag, get it dialed in, and you're ready to go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your product advisor. Happy to walk you through the process and help you find the right bag for your boat.